This is from Romans 1, verses 21 and 22. It says, yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they began to think up foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused. Claiming to be wise, they instead became utter fools. It was a 2017 Gallup poll that asked one simple question. It was targeted specifically at the American population with this particular poll. And of those who responded, 87% answered this question in the affirmative. Do you believe in God? 87% of people said, yes, I believe in God. And that was in America. Now, there's a different poll that was conducted in 2012 by the Pew Research Center. It showed that only 2.4% of the population self-identified as atheists. By self-identified, I mean they checked the box that said, I am an atheist. An atheist is somebody who does not believe in the existence of God in whatever form. Only 2.4% of the population in America. That means that 97% Point six percent of the population did not say that they were atheists. And it's interesting that two millennia after Paul wrote these words, humanity is relatively unchanged. Humans believe in the existence of God. While it is true that the numbers of avowed atheists may be Increasing slightly, an overwhelming majority of people still believe that God exists. Yet the number of self-identified Christians has been in decline for decades. People still believe that there's a God, but they increasingly do not believe in Jesus Christ. That verse that says, or the part of the verse that says, they began to think up foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused. And that's what we see in America today. We see that there is this hodgepodge mixture of religious belief. But there aren't that many who truly believe in Jesus as he is recorded in scripture. The imperative to share the good news of Jesus is still critically important today. We shouldn't just be talking about God because in our culture, that's such a generic term, God. Well, we should be talking about we should be talking about Jesus Christ, the one at whose name every knee will bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. Pray with me. Lord, there are many people out there who believe in God, but that doesn't mean that they believe in you. They may believe in a God. They may believe in some mystical force that identifies as God. But to say that they believe in Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior and have committed themselves to you and follow, following you fully, Lord, those numbers are declining. And so help us to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ so that people might come to know you personally. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll see you again tomorrow, friends.